You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. In this first clip, you're watching Nora Berry, a class of 2014 kid out of Cleveland High School in Tennessee, watching her just shoot this spot jumper here at about 12 feet. We're going to talk a little bit about her game, kind of what we saw, things that she does well, including shooting the basketball, and some things for her to continue to work on in her development. Meet Nora Berry. You know, I think the thing that we've been able to get across the point, so to speak, that's been the most important for me over the past year is when we have kids come in, Obviously, we want to put a video together that shows the things that they can do well, but we also want to talk about some of the things that they can work on, how they can improve, how they can take something from being good to being great, the kind of time and work ethic they have to put in to get there. You watch right here. She's putting the ball off the glass. We talked about catching the basketball, chinning, but really focused on just her ability around the rim using our athleticism. Inside using that athleticism, it's so important. We talked about a term called ball skill. We've used that before in these videos. The ability to catch, pass, dribble, and score it with either hand, especially inside of seven feet, as you can see us working on right now. And she's a right-handed kid, but the ability to pass the ball off the glass with the left hand, catch it, and go right back up and finish with her left hand is only going to make her that much better. You know, offensively, as you can see her right here taking the ball to the rim, you can play her in the high post. You can play her in the short corner. You can play her out on the perimeter. You know, she can shoot the basketball. She can shoot the three. She can do a lot of different things. And I think defensively, she can do those things as well. Definitely a kid who can defend the two through the four. I think, you know, over the course of the next 12 months, she can also defend the one in the right matchup. So you're talking about a kid who offensively can play two, three positions. Defensively can play up to four positions. That makes it really hard to, to match up with her. You've seen her around the rim. Now you're going to see her shoot the jumper here. Anytime we miss it, we want to finish it. You see her finish with the left hand on the left side. Obviously, in game, we don't really care how you finish. If it's right on left, left on right, whatever that happens to be. But we want to talk about being able to finish with both hands consistently. So we talk left hand, left side, right hand, right side. You see how quickly the ball comes out of her pocket. You know, at this point, we have been working out about an hour and 20 minutes. And a lot of times when kids come in, you know, we're not in there much longer than about an hour and 15, hour and 20. But while we're in there everything leads into another drill not a lot of downtime you know maybe a water break there in the middle and we're just hitting and trying to get it done you know tagging that point you can see us here talking about some footwork as we catch and rip through on the right side at 15 feet a lot of times I think kids are in the gym two and a half three hours uh, on their own in the summertime you know I don't know day in and day out how effective that is you know i think you really want to try to get in there an hour and 15 hour and 20 get your work done hit go from drill to drill have a great sweat and then at that point you know if you want to come back later play some pickup do some of that stuff then you tag on that but getting up jumpers for two two and a half for most kids i don't feel like it's effective you know, that said, getting the kids to figure out how for that hour and 15, hour and 20, they got to bust it and really make it happen is really what we focus on when we're inside the lab working and really in the factory grinding it out on the floor. You see, Barry, now we're talking about different finishes, using that right hand on the reverse in case that first defender's there. She just gets through and is at an awkward angle. Still being able to score the basketball. And those are some of the things for her and her progression that are really going to add to her versatility in her package, make it hard for coaches to take her off the floor. You know, she's been fortunate with Rachel uh, Powell Moore before and now Mindy uh, Kaiser, who was at Lee University as an assistant and now is the head coach there at Cleveland. She's had really good coaching coming up. Uh, you know, only a sophomore, so got to play for Rachel for a year. Mindy this year, she's had a chance to really, really develop her game already. And you can see that in some of these clips, just the way she gets her footwork, gets her feet around, nice floppy wrist on her shot. We talked about wanting to hold her follow through, extend her shot up, get a little bit more arc on the basketball, be able to use her legs, especially late game. You know, we talked about the rivalry game there with Bradley Central, and you need a basket late. You want to put yourself in a position to get that basket and be able to make it. You know, I'm really high on Barry as we switch sides with this 15-foot jumper here in terms of what she's got to offer at the, the next level, assuming she continues to grow her game. Her length, I think, is hard to find in a kid who moves well. She's good out in the open floor. You go see us do a passing drill here a couple clips from now where we work on our handle a little bit. I mean, she just has a lot of things that she can continue to grow and develop her game, a lot of different areas. I really like that and our willingness to work and be effective. 
You see her now putting the basketball in. Now we're working that short corner jumper. You know, a lot of stuff right here that you see, you know, from versatile four players at the next level being able to score it. You know, I do think, like I said, that Barry's a kid that before it's all said and done is going to be able to play the three or the four at the next level, maybe even fake some big guard at the two at some different times to give you a different look, especially defensively. He can play the top of the zone, top of the press, back, wing. She just does so many different things well, especially on the defensive end of the floor. It's going to be a real asset to a program. You're going to see what we're talking about now where they're putting it on the floor. This is a tough drill right here. We didn't really want to emphasize her necessarily keeping the ball low on this. We just wanted to keep, as you can see, her feet actually chopping. So as she's catching the ball, she's getting rid of it with one hand catching. That whole ball skill concept we talked about. You know, you do this drill right here. You get into that 20, 25 second mark. Your calves start burning a little bit. It becomes a little bit harder to handle the ball, to pitch it and catch it. Now you're getting that what we call in-game simulation where you're looking at having to handle it. Get the ball back quick and then make a counter move right away as the defender closes out on you and tries to cut you off.